Hello again. So something I've been wanting to do is I need to be able to blow out the inside of haha <laughs> blow um, out the inside of very tiny holes. This is a big hole, but sometimes I need to blow out the smaller ones. So I can't just like <laughs> into the hole because it's um, when you when you just blow here, it just it it doesn't really affect if you're trying to get something that's way down the bottom. It doesn't really, you can't really reach it if you just blow it at the front, even with the air gun. So what you need to do is you need to be able to blow all the way down in here like this, like, like, and then you can blow from the bottom out the top. Now, it's uh, tricky to find things that, uh, tubing that works well, and like if you get a flexible plastic tubing, it whips around and whips you in the hand and the face and whatever. So. Uh, what I wanted to do is set up a blowgun with a, I can buy these, these uh, lure lock needles in different gauges. Like this is a pretty big gauge, big enough, just, just the right size to fit down into this, the tiny holes I want to blow out. So I can buy that with a lure lock for the needles. And the problem is how do you fit it onto the blowgun? So you can screw the tip off the blowgun. And here you have a 1 8 NPT size, similar size fitting. And so when I did the search online for Lurlock adapter, I was able to find these on several sources, eBay, Amazon, whatever. It's a Lurlock fitting on this end to a NPT 1 8 on this end. So theoretically, should fit pretty perfectly into here. Yep. And then I can put my lure lock needle into here and lock it in. Now I have a needle fitting air gun, which uh, could be quite dangerous. You definitely do not want to inject air into your body or yourself or anywhere that would could be lethal, actually, deadly. So um, you want to be very careful with this about not injecting air into your into yourself. And that's why they have these safety safety blow guns is because this is a pressure safety. So if you happen to contact your body or something similar, then the air will blow out the side here. The last thing we need to do is just put Teflon tape on everything on the fittings. So we're going to put our air fitting here. I don't even need Teflon tape on this. We'll just uh Screw this in like so. Tighten it up a little bit using trusty Nipex. And there we go. We've got the ultimate needle blowgun. Da 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 da. <laughs> let's give it a go. Okay, and now let's see how it works. Whoa. Okay. It screws up the video every time it runs. All right, for the ultimate test, I shall launch myself off the tip. There we go. Okay, three, two, one. Wow, go! Look at that. Yes, right into the bucket. Ah, oh, I lost me teeth. Lost me jaw. It's all gone. 
Oh, look. I got my front teeth knocked out by an air gun. Where's me jaw? Oh, here's me jaw. Over here. Okay. Oh. Wow. Oh, that was a good one. Really knocked me teeth out there on that one. All right. Now, just need a little bit of uh, super glue. And we got everything back together again. Here we go. Haha. -ha. Yes. Perfecto. Okay. This was, I would say, a great success. Actually, here's the practical use for it. Is, oops, blowing down into very narrow holes and cleaning this out. Really fucks with the gimbal. All right. 